Hey everybody, I'm Kasha, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. We're here today for our third installment of this game, and as you can see, it's very dark out today. We've uh, actually done quite a bit of off-camera work. I actually don't remember um, how many days we had survived since the, uh, the last time in the uh, episode 2, but if we check our watch right now, we are at 8 days survived, and don't worry, I didn't really do anything during that time. Most of what I did was, I mean, I, I really wish it was daytime, but let me just get a little bit closer so you can see. I gathered pretty much all, I, all the palm fronds and all the trees and all the sticks and stuff from the other island. I actually moved them all over here. I actually didn't even get all the resources from that island over there. There's still coconuts and uh, lashings and all other kinds of things over there. But I did move all of the sticks and, you know, all those trees are chopped up. I basically spent a couple hours doing that and uh, it takes a, a lot longer than what I would probably like to move all that stuff here. But as you can see, we're rocking on sticks. Now, I didn't go ahead and take the time to finish moving everything from that island so that way we could just cut it off completely because oh hi canny because every single time that i try to paddle back to this island i am experiencing frame drops due to the amount of uh entities that we have here like even if i get close my frames drop just looking at the sticks so figured i would go ahead and start the episode i probably should have waited for it to be day to be completely honest with you but i really just wanted to go ahead and get started i have a little bit of limited time for recording today so we're gonna go ahead and get started these are the only things that i have not chopped up simply because as you can see right there the uh the frame i'm actually frozen yeah the uh the lag is getting kind of crazy i actually can't move so we're going to have to wait. Oh, there we go. Now we can move. You see what I mean? <laughs> so what we're going to have to do today immediately is we're going to have to reduce the amount of uh, entities that we have on this island because it's getting to the point where we're just, it's slowing us down. We can't have that. So wait, how are we doing on food? We're a little hungry. We're actually um, going to have to do something Maybe not this episode, but next episode we're going to have to start doing something about the uh, the food situation. I mean, I still have a, a bunch of coconuts on that other island and stuff, but I mean, I have probably about twice as many as this total. And some of the potatoes did grow back, but I spent so much time just gathering resources from that island, I've just been kind of consuming food without producing any more of it. And I did cook a couple crabs, but I'm down to one. I have enough sticks to cook more. So that's a thing. Now, the only things that um, did happen in between episodes... Oh, see? Picking something up. Is I did find this, uh, this hammer. And I'm, I really wish that I would gotten it on recording. But um, don't worry, I didn't go underwater or anything of the sort. I actually just... Um, there was a, a little bit of a sandbar, I guess you could say. Like a, a shallow area. Like, uh, like this right here. A little bit of a shallow area with some rocks a little bit of a ways out, probably about mm, that far from uh, the island that we were actually uh, searching on. And there was a ship wreckage or something of the sort over there. So we were actually pretty easily able to, um, you know, just kind of walk gray. Oh, it's because it wants me to build something. We were actually pretty easily able to... Um, just kind of walk over there and explore it. And I didn't really, um, I didn't really bother recording it, just, just didn't really feel important enough to do, and I was kind of just, you know, minding, just doing my own thing at the moment. I gotta find a place to put this. So, I did find a hammer, but that really wasn't too exciting. Um, the most exciting part is, while I had to make probably five or six or seven trips just to get all those sticks and stuff back, there's not really an efficient way to do all that, and I still don't have a motorized boat, so it's still pretty slow for me. But, um, I, I don't actually know where I want to put any of this stuff. Whatever, we're just going to build it. But, um, on one of those trips, I actually got lost. And, um, that was pretty terrifying, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, ended up, I was just kind of swimming around doing my thing like I always do, and, um... Sweet! Foundation! Check it out! 
doesn't really do anything. We're actually going to be working on building a house today. We're going to be exploring a bit of the crafting mechanics, but first I want to explain. I got lost. Basically, I was on my way back from that island, and I was kind of paddling, and apparently I either went like that way or that way. I don't even know. All I know is I was just kind of paddling, and I was trying to figure out um, when you're paddling the boat, you have a certain time in which you can actually, you know, click again and it'll start paddling immediately so you can paddle consistently and it's a little bit faster, um, which is nice. I was trying to figure out, like, kind of what the timing was on it and uh, trying to just kind of practice it and get better since I was doing so many trips anyway. Um, I really wasn't paying too much attention to where I was and I, know, I just kind of felt like, oh, man, I've been paddling for a while. I'm, I feel like I should be there by now, you know? You kind of just have that that sense and um so i stopped and i looked around and i saw like a buoy off to my side and i was just like where am i because <laughs> i haven't i haven't actually seen a buoy before and i felt this sinking sensation i'm gonna actually do this while i do it i felt this sinking sensation like deep in my heart not knowing where i was and i was i panicked and i really really wish i'd gotten that on recording but by the time that I experienced the fear and the uh, feeling, it was already a little too late for um, me to start recording. I suppose I could have done it. Maybe next time uh, I have a situation like that, I will. But uh, I managed to kind of randomly paddle around for a little bit, like, with the fear of thinking, man, I don't know where I am. And even though it was a game, you know, it, it was a very real fear. And, um... Not only am I super scared of the ocean, but I also have a fear of um, being in unf like super unfamiliar places. Like I'm, I'm okay with, like being in relatively unfamiliar places, but um, it's more about not knowing where I am or how to get back home, so to speak. Which I think is a perfectly reasonable fear, in my opinion. Looks like the sun is rising. So yeah, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Um. Let's see here. I don't really know what I'm, what the plan is for this. I'm just kind of like slapping a floor together. I mean, but um, I managed to find my way back to the island, and um, I was actually on the other side of the boat or whatever the hell, like the sunken boat, and um, I was really glad that I had managed, you know, to get back. But as I was going back, a shark, like passed by <laughs> and I had this moment in which I started crying inside a little bit because I haven't really had to encounter a shark yet and it really wasn't an encounter with a shark because like it didn't even really come close I mean I'm I'm definitely exaggerating like if I were to if I were to show you the distance between it and me like if it, the shark were the foundation it was like that far and it just kind of like swam off to the side and then didn't do anything but it kind of caught me off guard and i was i was already like worried because i didn't know where i was and then i managed to figure out where i was and i was just like oh yes i can finally like oh i'm, I'm you know i'm trying to get over the fact that that fear that sinking feeling i had of not knowing where i was and then like i'm like oh yes oh there's a kenny right there off to the side fuck you <laughs> it was me um I was just getting like all excited, like, oh, finally, I know where I am, I know where I am, oh, 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 you know, trying to catch my breath, and then shark, and I was just like, oh, it was, it was a moment. Am I a big baby? Yes, I am a big baby, and you, you'll accept me for who I am, damn it. <laughs> all right, um, I really don't feel like we're making that big of an indentation on our sticks, to be honest. I mean, I think it takes, um eight sticks to build a foundation even though it's obviously more sticks when you take a look at it but that's like two logs it's not too bad i mean i moved like i don't even know how many logs i moved over here like if i had to guess it's probably about 14 still not even done chopping them all up either 
kind of just want to get some of the entities gone, and I feel like if I build this foundation, then it's it's gonna help with that a little bit. Plus, we'll have a nice little uh, you know, place to. I like how they made it so that you can build it through the rocks. I remember when I was originally watching this gameplay, like I you wouldn't be able to place it like right here, for example, and I thought that was really crap. I felt like it it really limited the options for building on top of the island because um. You know, you just weren't, there's so much crap around here, like right here, for example, like if I wanted to build like a deck, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have to accommodate, which, don't get me wrong, is not a bad thing. I mean, it's realistic. I like, you know, I like the fact that it was realistic. It's one of the things that I like about this game the most. But, um, when you're looking at it from a crafter's point of view, like, oh, you know, I want to build, uh, I can't tell you how many times it's rained since, uh, you're just during the off-camera work alone. But um, from a crafter's point of view, it's it's a limiter, and when you're building something, you don't want to be limited. And uh, that's just kind of how it goes. Well, now it's raining, and I really don't want to record in the rain, because it's just, it's loud, it's obnoxious, it's not really much to look at, it's not really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the um, little foundation thing. I mean, I'm, I might start adding walls to it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will be back with you guys once I've got something done and this godforsaken rain stops. Alright guys, well we're back. Uh, it's night time. I've been doing a little bit of work. We are completely out of sticks. We still have a few logs to do, but uh, other than that, we are completely out of sticks. And we are really starting to suffer in the food category. I just had to eat just about all of my food. I still have a few more coconuts, but I ate all my potatoes and my crab. And for some reason I have no health, which is lovely. But I'm starting to regret the placement of my uh, my structure here because this dude has been hanging out here for like the past day and he won't go anywhere he's just kind of in this general area and right now this is the only way that I have to get up you need to get out of here bro I'm gonna have to kill him at some point to solve this problem I don't know if they respawn or not if anybody knows let me know but I get the feeling him and I are going to have some uh, some words exchanged. But I uh, just thought I'd bring you guys back for a little bit of an update. And uh, once it turns day, I will uh, yeah bring you guys back and uh, we can continue with the rest of the episode. Well, for those of you that haven't played this game, you'll... Uh, you won't really know that rain is really probably, in my opinion, the uh, the worst thing that can possibly happen because it pretty much completely inhibits your ability to do anything. I mean, I could could do anything, but this is uh, this is what the rain looks like at night. It's uh, pretty dark, and uh, originally I was going to use this time between the last clip and this clip to paddle out to the secondary island and go ahead and just pick up some of the stuff while I was waiting for day. I mean, I had a few hours, so I figured, you know, why not? Just go ahead and do something constructive. And I got probably about a third of the way there, and then it started raining. And I actually just made my way back, and um, I'm really concerned that my health isn't going back up. I actually don't know if you need to sleep or not in this game. I actually haven't slept at all since the uh the last episode so i think we're gonna go ahead and try but before i do you know what i'm actually just gonna sleep we'll wake up i can only sleep at night it's not night anymore is it oh hell it was just night time moves so quickly well now that we're here we might as well just show off the little bit of a structure that i built so let's go ahead and hop out sorry for the rain you'll just have to tolerate it i guess but um I went ahead and I built a 3x3 uh, three three foundation with a little bit of a lip out here for the uh, the steps. So we have a nice little uh, nice little walkway up here. You know, nice little window, bit of a wall. And we actually do have a door, which is pretty nice. So we can close that after us. It's pretty sweet. And uh, right now it's just the 3x3. Three three. I figured um, this would be the bedroom. Why not? I mean, it's nice to have a bedroom. I'm sure we'll be... We're definitely going to be expanding on this structure quite a bit. So, um, as of right now, this is the bedroom. I've got a window on every side. Just trying to keep it uh, nice and, uh, you know, even. Don't want to have, you know, windows on every... I want to have a window on, like, every wall, but I don't want to have, like, multiple windows. 
I'm trying to go for a nice homey feel. So I figured I'd go ahead, put my bed in here, as well as the uh, the engine parts, because, I mean, I gotta decorate somehow, right? And, uh, they're not, they're not gonna be used for anything for a while, so... And I did bring Wilson. Or Wooly, as this game calls him, for probably copyright. But, um... I don't have a roof, and I don't have a back wall. I am completely out of sticks. Like, this is what all of my sticks, my several hours of, uh... Paddling around, this is what it got me. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, I don't see... I don't see that shark out here. I don't see Kenny. Can't really see anything while it's raining, to be completely honest. Uh, we're slowly starving to death. If anyone knows that if I have to sleep or not, that'd be a, a nice bit of information. But, um... Man, I really don't want to try to... go underwater... with no health. <laughs> so... I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and kill a little bit of time chopping wood or something while I'm uh, waiting for this rain. Alright guys, well the rain's over and in the meantime I took my uh, pathetic little pocket knife, which is now burned up completely by the way, and I chopped up a few of the uh, extra logs that I have here. I think I'm gonna save the uh, the last remaining few for food. I'm going to have to cook up some campfires and stuff and actually get some food going because I am severely running out of food. Like, the food problem, the food is problem is becoming a crisis. It's not even a problem anymore. It is not yellow. It is not orange. It is hitting red alert level. We're starving to death. But, hey, in the on the bright side, I did manage to recover one point of health. I have no idea exactly how. I think it just kind of happened. I don't know why I lost all my health to begin with. Perhaps it's because I let myself mostly starve to death. But... In the meantime, I took the sticks and I managed to craft us up a few tools. We have two crude two crude axes. I made us a, um, a crude knife. And if you want to know how to make a crude knife, you just got to kind of take a rock and you got to kind of just chuck it. I'm, um, I'm not going to do that now because I don't know. I mean, I just don't know what I'm going to be using those for. Hi, Kenny. And uh, I did go ahead and make us this spear. I don't know how useful spears are for much of anything, really. But, uh, why not? Made one. So, I think it's supposed to be for, like, hunting and stuff? But I've never used one. I've never really seen one used, either. Um, trying to figure out exactly which thing I want to go to. That is pretty close, but it drops off pretty sharply. And that has me nervous. So if I can find a shallower one, at least for the first go around, I think I'm going to try to. Let's go ahead and save. Yes, I would like to save. I really hope, I don't really, I, you know what, now that I think about it, I actually don't know what the consequences are for dying. Do you respawn like in Minecraft in your bed or do you just like die? Like in the forest, do you just die? Oh... <laughs> this isn't fair. I know it's just a game. It's just a game. I know it's just a game. But I feel it. It's a sinking sensation like throughout my entire body knowing that I have to go down there. Fuck it. Oh god, it's a whole thing. Alright, 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 alright. Now I know it's a whole thing. Okay. Now I know what awaits me, and I know I have to go down there, because it's a big boat. Sun setting. That makes me nervous. Swim up, you bastard. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Please go back. Oh, God. Mm. 
Hey, I have a, a thing now. Joy. And I still have to go back. At least I figured out how to swim quickly. Fuel tank. Bandage. Pocket knife. Empty. All right, go back, go back, go back, go back. Don't drown. Oh my god, go back, go back, go back, go back. <sighs> Is this what you wanted? Is this what you're watching this for? You know who I'm talking to. I'm not going to mention names, but they're the people that specifically requested that are specifically watching this specifically. I'm saying specifically a lot, but the people that are doing or watching this video because they know how terrified I am and they just want to watch me suffer. Screw you guys. <laughs> I went down. It took me like a whole half a day to do it and um, other stuff. Yeah. Whew. Alright guys, well, I figured out that you can actually refill a campfire with sticks rather than building a new one, which kind of makes the second one that we built redundant, but hey, that's cool. And I managed to cook uh, six crabs off of uh, one fire, which I think took like three or four sticks, so that's pretty cool. Um, we still actually have plenty of sticks, so we'll be able to uh, cook up some more crab. I'd like to gather some more food, though, before we do, but um, this guy has been literally circling me the entire time and even if I can't kill him I want to stab him and this could go very well like he could just kind of swim in a circle and keep trying to come at me and I could just stab him repeatedly I don't know how much I don't know how many hits it's gonna take until he dies and then I would have I would kill a shark and that would be awesome because I know shark meat's really really good for food although I would probably keep him because he'd be the first one and you know that's kind of like tradition for this game or he could bite me and drag me out into the middle of the ocean and I would probably have a heart attack and die so I don't know I just want to jab him at least once using a knife is probably you know what I want to grab the spear and if he's gone he's gone there's potato plants sweet I really just want to grab the spear I feel like it would be significantly um, better suited to this purpose. He's probably gone because I moved. Maybe if I hang out here for a little while, he'll come back. Maybe I should just carry a spear on me. I know the machete is really, really good for kicking his ass. Come back. Oh, there's two. Oh man, maybe I could get. Maybe if I just kind of. I'm just gonna stand here, like on the shore, for a little bit, and maybe one of them will uh, come back. Oh yeah, yeah. I see how it is. Once it turns to be nighttime, and once I finally decide to start recording, after I've waited all this time, you decide to show up. I see what kind of attitude you have, Kenny. We're not having it. We're not tolerating you today. Mm -mm. Sorry, guys. I'm, I waited around. It got dark. I did. I went around the island. I found uh, the yucca plants regrew, and I went ahead and harvested all the potatoes, which was great. So, I mean, a little bit of extra food. We, um... We are starting to generate health. It seems like having a higher uh, amount of food in our bellies seems to help with food regeneration. So I'm a little disappointed I didn't get a smack of shark today. But that's not really too big of a deal. But um, that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you liked, feel free to like, favorite, share, subscribe, and so on and so forth. Because it's all you and it's all for you. And make sure you say goodnight to Wilson. Good night, Wilson. And uh, 
Be sure to check out any, any of my other videos if you're interested. I have a little bit more of Stranded Deep, previous episodes, and so on and so forth. But uh, I have other games as well, and uh, I'll be planning to do a lot more in the future. So if you want to, feel free. And uh, with all that being said, I'm Kasha. And so we go. Go to bed. It's time to sleep so that we, way we can wake up and be starving again. <laughs> Yeah, I bet niggas be sleeping on me Been laying low, cause the reaper on me From 12, 12 skinnies Whole block hungry The streets of Philly, man I gotta keep my heater on me Lost souls, fuck hoes and leave them lonely Rose gold, try and get my pockets like fresh Them lames ain't know that I was next I do this shit for life and beyond